Hi, it's Carl here from Sake and Tasty Bites. Let's talk about my favorite topic, Goshu or aged sake. Like wine, whiskey and champagne, we age it because it continued to develop its profile, its color, aromas and its flavor. This is thanks to the Mylet reaction, it's the reaction of the sugars and the proteins creating that darker color. Just like boiling a steak, it creates on the outside a darker color and it creates more um, aroma and texture of mushrooms and nuts. Just like with sake, it creates more a flavor profile of caramel, cherry, nuts and also here and there mushroom. It all depends how it actually was aged. Was it aged in a barrel or a bottle? Was it aged cold or warm? The minor reaction is faster when it was aged in a barrel. It's also faster when it's warm. Of course, there's hybrid techniques. Sometimes they age for a long time in a barrel and then transferred in a bottle and continue to age like that. Or some of them are actually aged also in wooden barrels. Some start to age in a bottle and then in a wooden barrel and back in a bottle. It all depends. Let's go over some examples. This is a non-aged sake from the brewery Shimazaki. It's one year aged. We consider aged sake after three years. It's an industry acceptance, it's not a legal law. We notice here that the color is like a pale yellow, like the color of more like straw. However, when we compare that with the aged sake from Hakkasan of three years, it is totally transparent and clear. Its flavor profile is slightly dry, medium body, you have taste of apple uh, and melon in there. The same sake, we have it here aged for eight years. It's both aged at a cold temperature, so the mild reaction didn't go fast, and they're both fully transparent. When we compare this, this, this is uh, one year aged, and this is then three year aged, the color didn't change so much because they both aged at a cold temperature. Let's now compare the same sake with another one of the brewery Koku. What you see here is the typical aged sake color. When you taste it sweet, you have really the caramel taste in there. This is a Junmai. It provides more proteins to create a stronger mild reaction. This one is 10 year aged and this one is 12 year aged. So you can see it depends on if it's what style of sake, this is a Ginchou sake. So it has lesser proteins to create that mild reaction and it was done at a colder temperature. When we go a step up, we have here an aged sake of 20 years from Daishishi. When you look at the color, it's totally transparent. With this, I want to really educate you that the color is not always those amber colors. When we go a step up, we have here a 50 year aged sake from the brewery Shimazaki Shuzu. It's a drip sake, Shinmai Dai Genju, and it was aged in a cave who is about a constant temperature. Where you can see the, temp the color is totally transparent. Beautiful. Now, one of my pinnacles is the aged sake from Masumi, it's uh, from 1974. It's still wrapped in the paper of 1974 when they bottled uh, the sake. I opened it one time and you could see the color is totally transparent. It's a Junmai Dai Genjo, aged at five degrees. I will be more sharing about this sake and how you might be able to get a taste of this sake too. Kampai.